It's a trap! Hey everybody and welcome back to the Rumor Review on Star Wars Newsnet's The Resistance Broadcast Patreon page. I'm John, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to our Patreon page, welcome! And this is my segment uh, called The Rumor Review where I go through, guess what? Rumors. Uh, This day and age, rumors are insane for Star Wars as always and they may be as crazy as ever uh, with uh, Episode 9 coming down the pike here. But uh, what we like to do here is go through all of the rumors out there and whether that's theories or news rumors, whatever, and try to bring some truth to that as much as we can. And we do that together here on the rumor review. Um, This week, something is a bit different. I'm actually going to be focusing most of my time, pretty much all of my time on this one story. And that story being rooted from a tweet sent out by the uh, account Formula Money, which is mostly affiliated with uh, Formula One, F1 Racing. But they had sent out a tweet about a big splash uh, being announced next week, reported uh, via them or affiliated with them, um, about live-action Star Wars movies. And they had said it has nothing to do with casting announcements or director announcements, but more about business. Um, And the main writer, Christian Silt, Uh, alluded to E&E Industries, and I'll get into that in a moment, but he said it has to do with um, a billion dollar big splash, good news, and that sort of thing. So I did some digging on this, so this is pretty much what the focus of the rumor review this week is going to be, me trying to piece together what I think this is about. Now, uh, I'll start by saying he did mention a keyword being E&E. So I remember hearing about this a long time ago. I know Fantatrax had reported last fall that e Industries was uh, something, a license, a limited company taken out in the UK. And they believe that to be for Ryan Johnson's um, movie trilogy. Um, through another source of mine via uh, another article I did, um, uh, someone else verified this as well to me that e Industries may very well have to do with Ryan Johnson's movies, uh, upcoming productions for Star Wars, um, major motion pictures, not necessarily TV. Being that uh, Christian Silt with this Formula Money mentioned e e Industries, I started digging a bit more and found the e e Industries limited um, uh, application or website, whatever you want to call it, details about the company. And three people involved with this company are Eileen Altman, who is the director of finance for ILM, Industrial Light and Magic, in the UK. So keep that in mind. Russell Haywood, he's the assistant regional counsel, so attorney for Disney Studios Motion Pictures. So again, movies. Uh, And Rhonda Hajort, I apologize if I'm not saying that right, the um, Deputy Chief Counsel for Lucasfilm, stationed out of San Francisco. So you have attorneys, you have directors of finance. What does that mean? Movie studios, yes. So I think this has to do with movie studios, a major movie studio opening for Lucasfilm uh, and Disney. Uh, in the UK, likely East London, one being pointed to being uh, Dagenham, um, which is going to be a massive, gigantic studio for upcoming movies. Now, we recently heard that Episode Nine is going to be the end of uh, Star Wars being filmed at Pinewood Studios, the famous Pinewood Studios that a lot of Star Wars films have uh, been filming at. So they're moving out of there, and it looks like this is now my speculation here, that they're going to be moving towards this new studio, Dagenham, in East London. And if it's not Dagenham, it's something in that area. I think the announcement's going to have to do with Ryan Johnson's movies, that they're going to be the first ones filmed there, or something of that ilk. And I think the focus of the article is going to be about the economic boost that it's going to bring to London and the UK. Um, the reason I think that as well is because the, uh, this Christian Silt that I mentioned from Formula Money also uh, said it has something to do with fa- what something fans have been talking about and also something he's written about before. And I found an older article of his from about a year or so ago where he talked about the uh, economic impact that Star Wars filming in studios in the UK has had. Uh, on the area. I'm just trying to connect dots here, guys. This is nothing factual. I can't confirm this, obviously, but I'm trying to you know, piece the all the branches together here, and they're all going to be pointing to this one thing. Because, again, he said it has to do with business and not announcements about story or you know characters or anything like that. So business, money, dollars. Uh, he said it's something that he's written about before. It has to do with... Um, 
uh, he wrote about, like I said, he wrote about uh, the economics that the studios have brought to the UK in the past. Um, I, I think he wrote that for Forbes, uh, potentially. He mentioned E&E Industries, which I said earlier, Fanta Tracks had said that that was going to be for Ryan Johnson. Uh, I heard that as well from a different source um, who did some work on uh, episode nine, actually. And uh, so I, I think it's quite possible this could be for Ryan Johnson. But anyway, e e Industries, again, the three people, Eileen Altman, Russell Haywood, Rhonda Hajort, all have to do with finance and counsel being attorneys for Lucasfilm. So that's, again, business. So I think this announcement that we're going to get via Formula Money uh, this coming week is going to have to do with a new major movie studio opening an operation for Disney in the UK, in England, in likely East London. It may be this Dagenham Studios, a 22-acre gigantic new place, and uh, it's going to be for future upcoming Star Wars movie productions. So while they are focusing on Disney+, Plus, and that's a new big thing for them, Star Wars is all about movies first. It's a movie franchise, a very big movie franchise, and they want to maintain that. So I think this is the big splash to say Star Wars movies are not going anywhere. Even though we're ending the Skywalker saga and saying goodbye to this group uh, at the end of Episode Nine, the future of Star Wars movies is going to be pretty big, uh, starting with, obviously, uh, the Benioff and Wise movies in 2022 and moving forward. Now, uh, again... I can't guarantee that this E&E means the Ryan Johnson movies, but being that I heard that from somewhere and Fanta Tracks heard that from somewhere, it might be. And maybe he's the one launching uh, the first movie out of these out of these new studios. I'm not sure. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, if you think this is something that's accurate, I'm probably going to try to write something up on Star Wars Newsnet about this. Uh, again, a lot of speculation here, but I'm trying to point all the dots to the center here to figure out the truth on this. And as we know, like I said, Disney is moving Star Wars out of Pinewood. So they have to be going somewhere else. They, we know they love filming in the UK for Star Wars movies. They've been doing it since the beginning. So I think the truth of the matter is they are moving to another studio, likely East London. It's possible it's this Dagenham. So that's it, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. A little different rumor review this week, but uh, hopefully we find some truth here and we find out... Um, Obviously, more details on this later in the week. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being a patron of the Resistance Broadcast. And as always, I'll see you on the podcast tomorrow morning. We'll see you around, kids.